friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. People think the party of one was the inspiration for cupcakes. I think it was this episode. Hi, Derby. Hi, I'm looking for Rainbow Dash. Have you seen her? Isn't she right up there? Rainbow Dash! So Pinkie Pie has randomly decided she wants to hang out with Rainbow Dash, but Dashy isn't having any of that. Close. Hi! Ah! Hi! I think Dashy gets best face award for this episode. It's like Peppy Le Pew, but less rapey. Rainbow Dash? Oh, forget it. It turns out that Pinkie Pie wanted Dashy to help her play a prank on Spike. <laughs> and unintentionally playing one on Princess Celestia. That was a pretty good face, too. I don't have anything clever to say here, I just think it looks hilarious when Pinkie Pie hiccups. And Pinkie Pie loves you know, Pinkie Pie, you're not as annoying as I thought. Anyone other than Pinkie Pie would probably be insulted by that comment. But then again, it's high praise coming from Rainbow Dash. So this sets off a series of pranks that Dashy and Pinkie play on all their friends. I normally think pranks are mean-spirited, but since no harm is done and the victims end up finding it funny in the end, I'm okay with it in this case. Not to mention the insane amount of work they must have put into that one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> also, they resist pulling a prank on Fluttershy because Pinky knows that she wouldn't take it well. We can't prank Fluttershy. I mean, she's so sensitive. It'll hurt her feelings. Yeah, you're right. That's pretty cool of them. Not to mention that they continue to play pranks on each other, so it doesn't come across like they're ganging up on every pony. <laughs> this is Pinkie Pie in a nutshell. So it's the next day and Pinky goes to find Dashy again only to discover that she already has company. Meet Gilda, or who I'm tempted to nickname 90s Griffin. Hey, what's up? What you see is what you get, dweebs. Shut up. Everything is lame. Nearly everyone but her is uncool in some way. She clearly has a soft spot for Dashy, though. Give me a great idea for a prank. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you are so random. This is also Pinkie Pie in a nutshell. And there is no escape from Pinkie Pie. Just accept your fate. So, Dash, got any new moves in your trictionary? Sit back, G. This is gonna take a walk. So make like a bee. Buzz off! <laughs> hey, where's Pinkie Pie in her crazy contraption? Eh, uh, she left. So Gilda has a habit of hiding her meanness from Dash. That's kind of a classic abuser tendency. So sure Pinkie seeks advice from Twilight and tells her what happened. Listen, Pinky, I don't want to upset you, but just because Rainbow Dash has another friend doesn't make Gilda a grump. I mean, perhaps it's you, Pinky, who needs to improve her attitude. Wow. Okay, I could understand throwing it out there that maybe Pinkie Pie is just jealous and is remembering Gilda as being worse than she was, but she basically said to one of her best friends, I don't believe you. Surely this other person who I've never met can't have been rude to you and you're just making shit up. Yikes. To be fair though, Twilight does have a habit of saying the wrong thing because she's not used to having friends, so I guess this isn't out of character. Still makes me want to give her a good bap to the head though. Improve my attitude? But I... But it's Gilda that... Are you serious? Thank you. Maybe Twilight is right. No, Twilight is not right. Later! So Gilda is seen scaring an elderly pony and stealing. And now she's determined to piss off the brony community. Good thing she returns in season five, otherwise I would have thought that they'd lynched her somehow. You don't fuck with Fluttershy. <laughs> she's a grump and a thief and a bully. This calls for extreme measures. Pinkie Pie style. So Pinkie Pie does what she does best, throws a party. Hi, Colgate and Carrot Top. Don't worry your pretty little head about mean old Gilda. Your Auntie Pinkie Pie's got it all taken care of. I'm a year older than you. I love that line, it's so random. So, in short, a whole lot of pranks get played on Gilda. 
Pinky acts like she doesn't know what's going on, but Gilda isn't buying it. I know what you're planning. <laughs> well, I hope so. This wasn't supposed to be a surprise party. But she has to play it cool because Dash is around. Hey, gee, you're not upset about some silly candles, are you? No way, Dash. I'm watching you like a hawk. Why? Can't you watch me like a griffin? But eventually Gilda has had it. This is your idea of a good time? I've never met a lamer bunch of dweebs in all my life. Come on, Dash. We're bailing on this pathetic scene. You know, Gilda, I was the one who set up all those weak pranks at this party. They weren't all meant for you specifically. It was just dumb luck that you set them all off. I threw this party to improve your attitude. I thought a good party might turn that frown upside down. So when Pinkie Pie said that this calls for extreme measures in an ominous way, she meant just throwing a party to cheer up Gilda? Actually, yeah, from Pinkie Pie that makes total sense. You are such a, a flip-flop! Cool one minute and lame the next. Oh yeah, kind of like how you were cool. Up until the very first time you opened up your beak and became 90s Griffin. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Hey, Pinky. Sorry I accused you of misjudging Gilda. Looks like I'm the one who misjudged you. Aw, I forgive you too, Twilight. This time when Twilight sends her letter to Princess Celestia, she includes some ink for Celestia's response. Final prank of the episode. Oh! <laughs> Wrong ink. And it speaks well of Celestia that she's not the stuffy, uptight ruler you might have expected her to be this early on. And so ends Griffin the Brush Off. I like this episode a lot, and I feel like I'm getting to the meat of the series now, because while the episodes up to this point have involved conflicts mostly among the main six, this is the first one to not only bring in an outside character and put the focus on her somewhat, but introduce us to a new species as well. It might come as no surprise that Rainbow Dash is one of my two favorite ponies. She definitely has some bad qualities, like she's overly competitive, kind of full of herself, and generally puts too much focus on being cool. But with her, it's cute. Plus, she offsets it with her good qualities, like she's a good friend, since she's the element of loyalty. The Gilda basically has only Dash's bad traits. Plus, she's way more abrasive. It's really kind of pathetic, and she could have been a sympathetic character had they chose to go that route. Here she is with her cool character design and just being overall awesome by default, and yet she still has such an inferiority complex that she still needs to build herself up by knocking others down. That's really kind of sad. I honestly want to like her, if only because I love her character design, but the show does almost too good of a job making her unlikable. The moral at the end comes across as you can't control who your friends hang out with, but it comes across more to me as don't be a Gilda. Trixie fans rejoice, because next up is Ghostbusters. See you then.